good morning friends in my previous lectures i have taken the numericals on flux setting and time multiplier setting of idmt relay this is one more numerical on time set time multiplier setting and flux setting of idmt relay for low voltage line that is distribution line protection the numerical is a power system is shown in the diagram compute the relay setting that is flux setting and time multiplier setting of relay r1 so this is diagram there are two line sections it is incoming line this is step down transformer because these are distribution lines first line is protected by relay r1 second line is protected by relay r2 here at the end of the line second line which is protected by r2 a fault is given fault current is 5000 ampere for relay r2 ct ratio is 400 by 5 for relay r1 ct ratio is 1000 by 5 for r2 plug setting is given it is 125% and its time multiplier setting is given 0.3 transformer rating is given 20 mva 132 by 11 kv permissible overload is given it is 20% and relay characteristic is given t is equal to 14 divided by plug setting multiplier to the power 1.02 minus 1 so it is slightly different problem the reason is for r2 here plug setting as well as time multiplier setting they are given second difference is here a transformer is given with the rating third difference is here the relays are rated for 5 ampere because both the cities are having secondary current of 5 ampere means relays are rated for 5 ampere and both the cities are not identical r2 has ct ratio of 400 by 5 and r1 has ct ratio of 1000 by 5 let us solve the problem we have to compute the plug setting and time multiplier setting of relay r1 so we always start with the relay which is at the remote end r2 so first we compute pickup here if we want to use this equation for finding the operating time of relay r2 then we need plug setting multiplier and equation for plug setting multiplier is it is fault current divided by pickup now here load current is not mentioned but plug setting is given 125% so pickup will be rated current of the relay multiplied by plug setting now here we are we all do we do the computation from primary side of the relay so here if rated current of the relay is 5 ampere from the secondary side from primary side we have to assume this 400 ampere so pickup will be 400 multiplied by plug setting that is 125% means 1.25 so pickup is 500 ampere so plug setting multiplier is fault current that is 5000 divided by pickup that is 500 so plug setting multiplier is coming 10 now substitute these values in this equation here time multiplier setting is given 0.3 so time will be 14 multiplied by t part 0.3 divided by plug setting multiplier to the power 1.02 that is 10 to the power 1.02 minus 1 So it is 14 into 0.3 divided by 10 to the power 1.02 minus 1. So it is coming 0.44 seconds. Now here, in this equation, time multiplier setting is not mentioned. It means this equation is valid when time multiplier setting is 1. So whatever value we are computing, getting for for operating time from this equation, that we have to multiply by TMS. So we get. The operating time for the specified TMS. Therefore, in this equation here, I already taken TMS is equal to 0.3. So we are getting the operating time of relay R2 is equal to 0.44 second for the fault current of 5000 ampere. Now for R1, first we compute from backup protection point of view. So T1 will be T2 plus delta T. This delta T takes care of over reach of relay r1 and circuit breaker operating time of relay r2 and normally we take this as 0.5 if it is not 
mentioned in the problem. So operating time required will be 0.44 plus 0 0.5, that is 0.94 seconds. Now, in this case, here the load current is not given. As load current is not given, we cannot find out the pickup. And if we cannot find out the pickup, we cannot find out the plug setting multiplier. So what we have to do is, we have to assume that the rated current of this transformer will be equal to the load current and then we multiply this by permissible overload so we can get the permissible overload current. So transformer rating is given. It is 20 MVA 132 by 11 kV. Now relay is connected on the 11 kV side. So current will be MVA divided by root 3 into kV. So current will come in kilo amperes. So it is 20 into 10 to the power 3 divided by root 3 into 11. 11 kV is the rated voltage of the secondary of the power transformer, that is distribution transformer. So current is coming 1050 amperes. Now permissible overload is 20%. So we multiply this 1050 by 1 1.2, so we get 1260 amperes. So this is the permissible overload current. So pickup should be greater than or equal to 1260 ampere. Now CT ratio here is one, I think it is 1000 by 5. So we can select pickup of the relay as 1500 ampere. That is greater than 1260 ampere. So we are selecting the pickup 1500 ampere. So plug setting will be 150% as the CT ratio is 1000 by 5. So 1500 divided by 1000, that is 1 1.5. So plug setting will be 150%. So plug setting multiplier, this is, we are com computing from backup protection point of view. So this is the fault current through relay R2 divided by pickup of relay R1. So 5000 divided by 1500. So plug setting multiplier is coming 3.33. Operating time required, we have just computed, it is 0.94. So 14 into time, time multiplier setting, that is unknown. PSM is 3.33 to the power 1.02 minus 1. So time multiplier setting is coming 0 0.16. So the pick plug setting of this relay that is R1 will be 150% and time multiplier setting will be 0 0.16. So this is how we have computed or we have solved this numerical for computing the settings of IDMT relay for distribution line protection when transformer ratings are given. Friends, if you feel this lecture useful, then please like it. Subscribe to my channel for upcoming lectures on power system protection and high voltage engineering. Ask your friends, colleagues and juniors to subscribe to this channel. If you want to make efficient and effective use of time, then read my book on time management. The link is given in the description box. I have launched a very useful course titled Boost Your Learning and Become Top Achiever. This course is very useful for the students in general and specifically for the students who are preparing for competitive and entrance exam. The link for the course is also given in the description box. Thank you.